Welcome to Teleclass English Grade 4. Myself Meena from Shavya Neto School. I hope you all are good. Really missing your smiling faces. Anyway, today we are going to study about a very simple topic. Are you ready? Okay. Before that, I am going to show you some pictures. You have to identify them. Then you will understand what is the simple topic we are going to study now. Okay? The first, I am going to show you this symbol. Do you know this? This way or this way? Are you confused? Next, this symbol. Next one is this one. This one also a little confused. This way or this way? And finally, this one. So these are the symbols we are going to study today. Are you ready? Let's start. Dear kids, have you ever used these symbols in your English class? And do you know the name of these symbols? These symbols are punctuation marks. So today's our topic is punctuation marks. We are going to learn and understand what are punctuation marks, how to use punctuation marks. At the end of today's class, you will be successful if you can use the punctuation marks correctly. Yes, what is punctuation? Do you remember the symbols and signs I have shown? Yes, very good. English language has a system of symbols and signs known as punctuation. Once again, English language has a system of symbols and signs known as punctuation. These symbols are used in writing to separate parts of sentences and make the meaning clear. These symbols are used in writing to separate parts of sentences and make the meaning clear. Got it? Why do we need punctuation? Is it very important? Have you ever thought about that? Punctuation shows us how to structure sentences. How each sentence should be read. Yes, so punctuations are very important, right? It helps us to structure sentences and it helps us to read properly. Let us learn about some of the common types of punctuations. First one, capital letters. I know that you all are familiar with capital letters, right? But do you know where do we have to use these capital letters? Capital letters should be used in the first word in every sentence. The first word in every sentence. You have to begin a sentence with capital letters. See the example? Aisha is writing a story. The sentence starts with the name Aisha, right? That is the beginning of that sentence. So we use capital letter. Maya is playing netball. What is the name there? Maya. That is first word of that sentence. So we used capital letters. Understood? Capital letters we can use while writing headings. While writing headings, we have to use capital letters. Can you see the name of that book? What it is written? Grandpa's Tales. Right? So, look at G and T, capital letters. Another example, English words, capital letters are there. Got it? Capital letters 
are also used the first letter in the names of person, place, events, etc. That means all the proper names we are using or we have to use capital letters. Example, Akmal. It is the name of a person. Mali. It is the name of a place. Children's Day. It is the name of an event. Right? Got it? Is it clear for you? Let's go through some examples. First one. Nile lives in India. Nile, that is a person's name, right? India, it is the name of a place, right? My school celebrates children's day. My first word in the sentence, children's day. It is an event. I hope you all understood all about capital letters. Am I right? Shall we move on to the next punctuation mark? Full stop. I know you all are familiar with full stops also. You have used it, right? Full stops are used at the end of most sentences. Full stops are used at the end of most sentences. See the example. I visited my friend yesterday. What is at the end of that sentence? Yes, that is a full stop. They are my friends. That is a full stop. Dear kids, when you write a sentence, you have to end with full stop. And you want to start with a capital letter. Got it? We can use full stops with some abbreviations. That means when you make words shorter. See the examples. Dr. Aminat Adam. Mr. John. Alia ate breakfast at 8 a.m. The doctor, we make it short, D-R. So, in that situation also, we can use full stop. Next one is commas. Have you ever used commas when you are writing? Comma is used to indicate a short pause while reading. Once again, comma is used to indicate a short pause, a short pause or a short stop while reading. The students who passed the exam went on a field trip. Have you noticed when I read where I, I stopped? The students who passed the exam went on a field trip. Got it? So, comma is used to indicate a short pause while reading. Comma is also used to separate items in a list. Comma is also used to separate items in a list. You have many things with you. Pencils, ruler, sticky notes, cello tape and drawing books. See how many commas we have used? Three commas are there, right? We used that commas to separate items in that list. Got it? Comma is also used with conjunctions. Are you familiar with conjunctions? A conjunction is a joining word used in a sentence. A conjunction is a joining word or connecting word used in a sentence. 
Example, you can ask her, but don't think she will agree. Where I have used the comma just before the conjunction, but, right? You can ask her, but don't think she will agree. I won't be there till 10. So, don't wait for me. Yes, that conjunction also just before the before the conjunction, that is a comma, right? So, comma is also used with conjunctions. Understood? Shall we move on to the next one? Yes, the next one is question mark. This is a very familiar symbol, right? Because every day you are facing many questions, right? I ask you. How are you? Have you noticed at the end of that question one symbol is there? Yes. Question mark is used at the end of a question. Question mark is used at the end of a question. How can you identify a question? Yes. Questions often begin with these question words. Look at the question words. Who? What? Were? When? Why? Which? And how? So you can easily identify the questions with these question words. Look at the example. How many cookies did you eat? Have you noticed at the end of that question, there is a question mark? Yes. How many cookies did you eat? So, the how is a question word. So, it is a question. So, the question ends with a question mark. Understood? Next one. What color is the dog? Question mark. What color is the dog? So, the question starts with a question word and ends with a question mark. All of you understood how to use question mark? Okay, so we are moving to the next punctuation mark. Exclamation. What is it? Exclamation. Can you repeat the word with me? All of you read that word. Exclamation. Can you see some faces on the screen? One man very surprised. Other one very angry. That boy is very joyful, right? Very happy. Dear kids, how can you express your feelings while you are writing? When we are talking with somebody, we can express that feelings in our face, right? But when you are writing, how can you express your feelings? Yes, that's why the exclamation is very useful. Exclamation is used at the end of a word or sentence to show strong feeling such as surprise, anger, joy, etc. Understood? Once again, exclamation is used at the end of a word or sentence to show strong feeling such as surprise, anger, joy, etc. Look at the example. Wow, what a cute baby. Can you understand my feeling? Yes, I am very surprised, very happy. Wow, what a cute baby. Where is the exclamation return? It is just after the word wow. And at the end of exclamation shows our strong feelings. The next example. Alas, the cat is dead. Do you feel I am very sad? Yes. So it also expressed the sad feeling. So my dear kids, 
So exclamations are very useful while we are writing. It express our strong feelings. Understood? Okay. And finally, we are going to study about apostrophes. Can you repeat the word with me? Apostrophes. Once again. Apostrophes. That's it. Apostrophes are used to replace a missing letter. To replace a missing letter. See the example? Cannot. C A double N O T. Cannot. But when I write can't, one N is missing, right? But instead of that, I used one apostrophe. Cannot changed into can't. It is. It's. Does not. Doesn't. So apostrophes are very useful, right? See one more example. She doesn't eat cheese. If it is does not, we can read she does not eat cheese. To make it short, we can write she doesn't eat cheese. Understood? Next. See all the marks of apostrophes on the screen. And you have to study how to do it. Okay. Take a notebook and note down these words. All the punctuation marks you have to note it down. Right? Apostrophes are used to show possessions or ownership. What is possession or ownership? Something belongs to somebody. Right? To show possession or ownership. Example. Why have you got Dean's jacket? Yes. Whose jacket is that? Dean's jacket. Yes. Dean is the owner of that jacket. So we want to explain that jacket belongs to J Dean's. So we have to write the name Dean apostrophe S. So we have to add S with the apostrophe. Then only it belongs to Dean. Got it? The next one. This is my son's book. Whose book? Son's book. This book belongs to my son. Apostrophe S. Understood? Any doubt? Shall we go to the next? Yes. Students, can you list out the punctuations we have studied today? Do you remember all the punctuations? Please recall all the punctuations we studied from the beginning. Yes, these symbols will help you. What is the first one? Capital letters. Do you know the rule of capital letters? Yes, very good. Second one, full stop. Where do we have to full stop? At the end of a sentence, right? Commas. Commas has three functions, right? Do you remember? Okay. Next, question mark. Where do we have to use question mark? At the end of a question. Exclamation. Exclamations we are using to express our strong feelings. And finally, apostrophes. Understood? Let us try a few more examples. It is your turn. I will give you some questions. You should answer them. Okay? Number one, are you 10 years old? I think there are two mistakes. Have you got it? Yes. A capital letter and it is a question. So we have to use question mark. Second, my name is Lean. How many mistakes are there? Three mistakes are there. Understood? M capital letter, my. 
name is lean lean is the name of a person right so l capital at the end of the sentence full stop wow what a beautiful flower how many mistakes are there there are three mistakes wow capital letter w capital exclamation mark and full stop and finally the girl's hat was green how many mistakes are there three mistakes right t capital girl's apostrophe is there and full stop so these are the simple punctuation marks we have studied today i hope you all of you understood these punctuation marks is it thank you and have a nice day